I'm Ninja Kun, and today's review is Acrobatic Dogfight. I was going to say Time Pilot, but Time Pilot's a different review entirely. If you haven't played Time Pilot, you should tr check it out at least once. It's such an interesting game for the time. Hishiki Okamoto, who actually headed on Street Fighter and a lot of famous Capcom games from the 80s and 90s, actually was credited as coming up with Time Pilot. I don't know how true that is, though. This is Acrobatic Dogfight though, 2D side-scrolling shooting game. What's nice about it is it doesn't force scrolling on you, you can actually go back, forth, up and down in the screen. And it gives it a fresh feel. Uh, there's a few other things though that make it feel fresh. It's the way your character moves, kind of always arcing to get a position so you can actually hopefully hit an enemy. It's not as precise as a lot of other shooting games where you just line up and then fire your bullet. And what's even cooler is that if you do get hit in the game, it becomes harder to shoot and your plane starts to wobble all over the place. I really dug that about this game. I think anyone will find the animation interesting, especially in 1984 where there's hardly any animation in sprites. Unfortunately, the game is a bit short if you're not playing for score. You go from one side to the other and once you find a short, easy way to exploit that, uh, you don't actually have to do much turning at all, you just do small little up-down motions and then enemies will always spawn in front of you, somewhere near you, and you'll be able to keep your fuel up. It will deplete over time like Wonder Boy, but if you use that tactic, it doesn't even affect the game at all. Unlike Wonder Boy, where in the later stages it would get really hard. Um, unfortunately, there aren't any cool power-ups in the game. you kind of just got your parachute, where if you get hit, you get you know, a second, second chance at survival. And cool things happen on the ground. Gives it that cool, quirky Technos vibe that they were well known for. But I wouldn't say that the game is very awesome for people who want an experience like maybe Gunsmoke or R-Type, which came a bit later. Some cool ideas though. My score, four out of five.